Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm excited to walk you through the steps to safely access the Pirate Bay. I will show you a detailed tutorial on all the steps you need to know in order to enjoy torrenting securely. Whether you're a professional torrent user or new to this, it's important to understand a few key points to ensure your online activities are protected. Let's dive in. But before we get further, let's talk about keeping your personal information safe while accessing the Pirate Bay. One way to do this is by using ExpressVPN. When you use ExpressVPN, it changes your internet connection by using a server located in a different place, wherever you choose. This means that your online activity appears to be coming from that chosen location. For example, if I connect to an American server using ExpressVPN, my online location and IP address will show up as being in the USA. Now, if I switch to a server in London, my online location and IP address will change too. So if you were to check my IP address using any IP finder tool, you'd see that it shows the location of the server I'm connected to. This is where the magic happens. By using ExpressVPN to connect to a server in a place where using the Pirate Bay is allowed, like the UK or another country, you're adding an extra layer of protection to your online browsing. So with your ExpressVPN in place, you can confidently and safely explore the Pirate Bay without worrying about your personal information being shared. Please feel free to explore ExpressVPN by clicking the link in the description down below. With this link, you'll get to experience a special offer that will provide you with huge savings. Now let's break down how to get started with torrenting, especially when we're focusing on the Pirate Bay. When you download a torrent file from there, it's like joining an online party where everyone can see each other, your location, IP address, and more become visible to anyone else downloading the same file. Now this might not sound like a big deal, but it's like handing out your home address to strangers. If this info lands in the wrong hands, it could lead to some potential danger. Picture it like this, someone could use it to track you down or dig into your personal stuff. And let's face it, that's the last thing you want, especially when you're diving into files from unknown sources. When it comes to the legal stuff, it's important to be on the right side of the law, so be sure to educate yourself with your local laws to ensure you're staying within the boundaries. I wanna be clear that I do not endorse downloading copyrighted material. It's important to be safe and prevent anything that could get you into legal trouble. Always make sure your online actions are in line with the laws in your area. That being said, let's talk about torrenting itself. It's a tool that allows sharing and downloading files through a peer-to-peer -peer network. Now here's the thing, torrenting in and of itself isn't illegal. It's simply a way of sharing data. In fact, it's an easy way to share large files and it's used legally by lots of organizations. So while torrenting has gained a name for being used for piracy, it's important to recognize that it can also be used for legit and legal purposes. One of the key things to do is to always have your Express VPN activated. This adds a layer of security to your browsing experience, helping to protect your identity and personal information. Now let's talk about the torrents themselves. It's necessary to be picky about the torrents you choose to download. Look for torrents that have high ratings and plenty of seeds. Let me explain to you what seeds are. Seeds provide the number of users currently sharing the file, which can give you an idea of how reliable it is. If you come across a torrent with no seeds or a minimal number of downloads, it's a red flag. These torrents might contain malware or other harmful content. However, with the right safety measures in place, such as using ExpressVPN, you can lower these risks. So remember to keep your ExpressVPN active and be alert when selecting torrents to download. You need ExpressVPN because one of its features is the no logs policy. This policy promises that they don't keep records of your online activities, which could be shared with your internet service provider or government authorities. By using ExpressVPN, you can rest assured that your internet browsing remains hidden and protected from hackers and people who are trying to get your information. The reason I chose ExpressVPN for diving into the Pirate Bay is more than just their promise to privacy, they also offer features that fit my torrenting experience. They have advanced protection features, which serve as a shield against potential threats and viruses. When this is turned on, these features work to block trackers, dangerous websites, and ads that could harm your online safety. Picture this, you're about to download a torrent but you open your VPN before you hit that button. If the VPN detects anything dangerous, a hint of malware, it automatically does its job and blocks access 
to the harmful content. Now, if you're looking for complete protection, ExpressVPN has you covered. You can easily enjoy top quality privacy and security without the additional hassle. I'm still impressed with the standout features of ExpressVPN, like having an impressive network of 105 locations worldwide. It offers huge coverage, making sure you have access to a wide range of servers across the globe. Plus, with the ability to secure up to eight devices per subscription, ExpressVPN provides complete protection, not just for you, but for your entire family. What sets ExpressVPN apart is its user-friendly interface, making it incredibly easy to use and take advantage of its full features. For me, simplicity is key, and ExpressVPN delivers on this perfectly while still offering complete and strong VPN capabilities. Also, ExpressVPN offers the kill switch, which is very useful in torrenting. Let me explain why. Imagine that you're in the middle of downloading a torrent and suddenly your VPN connection drops, leaving you prone to hacking. That's where the kill switch comes in. Its job is to make sure that if your VPN ever shuts down unexpectedly, your online activity stays hidden. So if your VPN shuts off by accident, the kill switch quickly jumps in and cuts off your internet connection until your VPN is back on, keeping you safe from anyone trying to peek at what you're doing online. The best thing about kill switch is that it remains active even when you're not actively monitoring your VPN connection. So if your VPN disconnects unexpectedly due to an issue or maintenance, the kill switch kicks in cutting off your internet connection until the VPN is back online and your connection is secure again. All right, that wraps up today's video. If you want to give ExpressVPN a try, you can click the link in the description below to get the best deal for ExpressVPN. All right, guys, thanks for making it to the end of this video. I hope you found it helpful. To sum it all up, ExpressVPN provides a set of features that's hard to match. In my opinion, it's well worth a subscription. I highly recommend it to anyone looking for a strong VPN that can protect you from your torrenting journey. If you're intrigued by the features of ExpressVPN, I encourage you to explore it further. Based on my own experience with it, I genuinely recommend giving it a shot and I'm confident that you'll find it helpful too. Feel free to drop any questions you may have in the comments section below. And that's all for now. Wishing you a fantastic day ahead.